you might recognise the guy who's with me, or you might not. Hello, you look so a bit let's different. Andre again. <laughs> it, is, <clears throat> it is Marty Hopcote, better is, known as Kenneth Cope. Well, can you tell us, well, you've got to go quite soon, but before you do, can you tell us, when you made the programmes like that one, Yeah. did you ever think that there would be a cult programme today in 1988? Um, no. Not really. No. We tried very, very hard. We worked very, very hard. Um, I didn't see my kids growing up. They had to come to the studios on a Sunday to see Daddy. And they used to say, who? You know, we, could, we didn't see them. Um, no, we, we were just trying to do our best, Michael and, uh, and S and I. And it was, we were a smashing trio. Michael and I, doing a scene, I could tell when he dried or was going to go, because we mm. had to learn the dialogue under pressure. And we used to learn it just before the take. And he'd know when I'd gone because the eyes flashed in. You, you know, we both you knew when we got. Rapport. And we could ad lib on camera mm. without fluffing, without messing it up. We get out, get ourselves out of the scene, and there was no retakes because it was we were we were, we, sat, we knew each other so well. We lived in each other's pockets for what 14 months, mm. and it was smashing. He loved me, and I loved him. And well, then Andre seems... got in the middle, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> well, it seems to have worked because Randall Hopkirk is a cult program, and I've got to thank. Oh, Kenneth I thought Co- you talked about Dixon of Dog Green. <laughs> Kenneth Cope, thank you very much for coming in. God bless you. <laughs> Goodbye, folks. Late night, late